Hello, this is Mr. H, and welcome to episode 11 of my Daily Desmos series. Um, the goal here is to get this graph to happen with just one equation. Now, we're going to have to try to do it with multiple equations first, and then we'll condense that down into this one equation graph. So you see how these are spread out different amounts as we go up and as we go sideways. Uh, so these equations look like you know horizontal lines and vertical lines. So let's get started by just making a, a single horizontal line and a single vertical line. So, so horizontal lines are like y equals 0 is a nice horizontal line. x equals 0 is a nice vertical line. Uh, we can change both of these to the color black. And that way, well, you can't really see them. So that's not as helpful but uh, let's try to add to this and see if we can uh, get those other ones to show up so you notice that they are kind of more densely configured close to these starting lines and then they'll go out from there now what we could do is we could just have an array that adds to these amounts so for instance like let's say that I did plus an array and I wanted to add 0, 0.2 and so on I will go dot 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 uh, up to 1 do you see how that's going to add a lot more lines right there but I actually what I actually want to do is cube this array um, and you can see how they get much closer together when I cube those so uh, maybe I want point zero two. Oh, here we go here we go. Okay, so now we're cooking. Um, so this array is going to go up by 0 0.02, two hundredths each step. So I'm going to have two hundredths, four hundredths, six hundredths, and so on. And you can see how I end up with these all nice and stretched out. Now, notice if I go x equals, and then I put in the same thing, it, we're going to have in two lines, pretty quickly here, we have in two lines of code, uh, two equations we end up with let's see we'll cube this one as well uh, oh what did I mess up I messed something up oh we put the cubed outside of this so let's do to the cubed and it seems like we already have this but notice this is in two equations instead of just one equation and also of course we don't need the the equals or the plus zero here that wasn't really doing anything just a placeholder so this is really nice to do in two equations but what I want to build now is trying to actually do this in one equation which is going to be a little bit more of a challenge so here we go let's uh, let's get rid of this and we'll get rid of this and we'll see now that we see how it works that it's really just these values cubed added in I want to try to get this in one equation so here's an idea that I have if I do this, the uh, absolute value of x um, equals the absolute value of y, then I get this kind of x-shaped graph with just one equation. So my idea is I could take this equation and just rotate it 90 degrees to get started, and then I can add in my array to make this work. So let's see how this works. Now, if you want to rotate something 90 degrees, uh, let's see, we can take the x value and we can just replace it with uh, y cosine. And then since I'm in a uh, radian mode here, I want to go cosine of pi over 4. Um, and then I'll go out of there mm, plus sine of pi over 4. And I have to use these parentheses to make sure that it knows exactly what I'm talking about here. And then we'll replace the y value over here with x cosine pi over 4 minus um, y sine pi over 4. Oh, I've messed something up x cosine pi over 4, y sine pi over 4, y cosine, oh, I forgot the x right here, okay, x sine pi over 4, all right, here we go. So now, 
this is back to our original equations that we had. Now all we want to do is move this diagonally up and we can actually get all of these lines to go at the same time. So right here in this position, I'm just going to add um, my bracketed cubed little array, 0, 0 0.02, and so on up to 1. Ooh, here we go, here we go. Look at that. It's like instant graph paper. Um, to the cubed. That is not right. That doesn't look right. It's kind of flipped up upside down. So let's change this to a minus, and now we're going the correct direction. So check that out, everybody. In one equation, let's show this one equation up here. In just one equation, we have this entire array of crossy lines number two. So this was the Daily Desmos challenge recently, and I wanted to show you how I came up with one equation that would solve it. All right, everybody, if you have any questions, you can go into the comment section, uh, send me a message. I've been answering questions left and right from different people, and I really enjoy that because I'm here to help. All right, have a great day.